Hi, everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore. Alongside Teddy Let's check this guy out. We're in the middle of the division. This is a fairly even fight. Everybody's been waiting for these two to meet up. Now they do as round one is underway. Scores with the combo to the head. That was nice. He just drew the punch from his opponent and then a good counter by Comeback Kid. Yeah, like running through the rain without getting wet. Beautiful. Very nice work with the double jab up top. If you're the inside fighter, what do you have to think about in terms of putting forth your style of fighting? Well, you better find a good ride to get to that house. That house is on the inside, and you better make sure you're not getting caught while you're coming in. Move your head on the way in, bring your feet, and once you get inside, make sure you... Come back, kids! Legs look shaky. He was hurt. Keep your distance. On, on the inside, on the inside. Great movement to get away from those punches. A crushing two-punch combo by Irons. Crawford's left now getting into the mix. Good flush shot upstairs. Good solid overhand left. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Solid, and a big punch puts him down. Crawford's rising back up. That takes some guts. Good combination to the head. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Come back, kids! Right in the way of that hook to the head. Oh, that had a hurt. End of the round. A round in which a knockdown was scored. Now, Teddy, if you're the trainer in the corner of the guy scoring the knockdown, what are some of the things you want to remind him of? You want to remind them how he got there because a lot of times it's the tendency to just remember the punch that put him there. He dressed him up. He set that punch up. Don't think about just the punch that landed. Think about the setup punches. Don't let him keep his distance from you, okay? I want you to take that Comeback kids in a tough spot here. 60 seconds, that's all you get to gather yourself after being knocked down. Great work offensively landing that combination by Comeback Kid. Oh, what a devastating hook by Comeback Kid. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Good solid hook lands by the Comeback Kid. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Oh, good exchange there. Hit comeback to the kind of boxer. Now look at him. He does not. Big shot. Oh, and now the real test. Can he get up after going down a second time? One, two, three. Crawford's climb back up from the canvas may inspire him. Takes a punch, then a solid shot by Iron. Lands flush with the two-punch combo by Iron. Missed the body shot. Big shot there. How about that? He goes from being the victim to handing out the punishment. One, two... So he goes down, but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving. But if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. That is Boxing 101. A nice, crisp 
combination by Iron. Iron's so dangerous with that accuracy, a two-punch combination landing. This is just beautiful to watch. Watch how he just links one to the next, Teddy. A beautiful sequence. Almost like, can you believe that? What a change in momentum. He just got rocked moments ago. He was the one. Oh, that's got to hurt. He goes down in the later stages of this round. He's going to try to survive it. Two, three, four, five. So the bell to end that round gets him out of danger. But Teddy, my concern is what is he even going to look like when the next round starts? Well, that's the thing. The corner's going to have to take care of that, get some ice on him. And also, they're going to have to think, do they want him to go back out? I made it to the eye of the storm, feeling torn like they fed me to the lions. Before my time start to wind down like the Mayans, I saw how I got the ground down like the science. It's so quiet. Iron's corner tried to steady him and give him some sound advice with the 60 seconds they had to work with him. But keep in mind, he was knocked down in that last round. Well, the most important thing is his experience. Has this happened to him before? Can he justify it in his mind that he's overcoming before? Also, his corner, did they revive him? Did they do their job during that minute rest? Jab right hand. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Iron. His comebacks left, landing well. Good job staying away from the danger there. Comeback kids landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Nice work by Iron. He was looking for an opportunity. He got it with that counterpunch. Yeah, he stepped to the side. You know, a lot of times we talk about using his jab to set up a shot. He used his legs. Stepped to the side, got that opportunity. Right back to it to the head. Hey, got to see that coming. He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. Iron's defense. Is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Good job snapping out that jab. You know, if you're watching Muhammad Ali, you know you need a jab to move on the outside. But if you're coming forward... You... Oh, a big shot comes home for him. Crawford's corner is imploring him to get up after that flash knockdown. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And it's over. Look at this. Iron's opponent is floored. A knockout victory. Boy, was that impressive. By way of knockout. Yep. Yeah. That was sweet, I can tell. I can tell it's going to go like that. Let's take the little boxing lesson real quick. Never saw that coming. An early knockout victory. That's a stutter, Teddy. Yeah, the boxing lesson on this one is just be accurate. Because he came out very dry. No sweat out of him at all. As you see, he was, he did connect with the hooks. I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night. I was whipping jabs at him. I fucking... Counter punches. I mean, the fucking power punches was landing. What can I say? I threw 32, maybe 23 of them motherfuckers. You know what I mean? Catch y'all next time.